Comparison of quadrupolar radio frequency lesions produced by standard versus modified technique. An experimental model by Dr. Ramin Safakish. There are different techniques for performing the radio frequency procedure. As you can see in illustration A, one of the techniques is burning the lowest part of the joint line. In illustration B, the technique involves burning the area next to each nerve ending regardless of the joint line. Techniques C and D are very similar. They both involve burning a continuous line between the nerves and the joint to interrupt communication, though each procedure uses different equipment. Performing the procedure requires a fluoroscopy unit, a radio frequency machine, and four probes to perform the quadrupolar technique. The quadrupolar technique is using four probes to make a continuous lesion. The patient will lay face down in prone position. A grounding pad is attached to a part of the skin. Four probes are inserted and advanced parallel to each other. We use DROS technology radio frequency machines, as they're the only one with quadrupolar mode. We target the ligaments that keep the joints together as well as the nerve endings that sense the sacroiliac joint. In standard techniques, we make a narrow ablation of posterior rami of S1, S2, and S3, as well as L5, S1. In our alternative technique, we provide an ablation three times larger than that of the standard techniques. Therefore, the pain relief has the potential to last longer. This is an x-ray demonstration of how we use the alternative technique. First, we make a lesion at L5, S1. Then we make a lesion in the upper half of the SI joint and its supporting ligaments. Finally, we make a lesion in the lower half of the joint. 